Hello, this is Larissa tonight with my Friday night video and I'm actually at David and Debbie Fox's house so if you're wondering why my background's different, that's why. Um, the thing that was on my heart tonight is recognizing the spirit behind something. When you discern truth, discern out of the place of here, not out of here. Because what you see and what you hear can deceive you. But what you know is what God placed within you. It's just like a scripture I brought up many times is, because when they were on the road with Jesus after the resurrection, at their hearts burn within them, when they heard the words he spoke, when he explained about himself in the scriptures. And that's what it's always supposed to hit at. And I realize what that does is that actually sparks faith. And that faith works by love. <laughs> And um, out of that, you start to realize who you are. And you start to see things as already finished. And when you start seeing things as finished, you start to see it finished. Where it's manif the promises are manifesting in your life. And one of the themes that came up is the spirit of fear versus power, love, and a sound mind. <clears throat> and... And I realize it's more of an influence rather than a possession. People are like, oh, I can't have a demon. or And it's not even like that. It's like, you know, you're either being influenced by the will of the devil or the will of God. And everybody is to some degree or another. And it's what you choose to listen to. Are you going to be led by your brain or are you going to be led by the Spirit of God joined with one spirit with the Lord in who you are and walk in your destiny and purpose and not selling yourself short? of everything he's created you as. And so this theme um, about the power, love, and a sound mind came to me because, you know, in fear manifests in different ways. Some people, when they're afraid, they just kind of shut down their mouth. They don't say much. And then there's other people that just chitter-chatter and say nothing and use a lot of words. And both are for he from heaven, and it's not about the externals. As much as discerning the intent, or the spirit behind it, in other words. Because when you get that, that's the thing that's actually going to help you more than just looking at what you see. So, as far as like discerning truth, it's going to come to a place where when somebody speaks it, it's just like, wow, wow, that's it. You always want to stick with that. And I've done that a lot of times where I've had those moments and instead of saying, well, I don't have all that figured out, therefore I'm just going to discard that thing. I go with it. And that is a place of vulnerability because you have to trust God and not have an idol of having everything figured out. <laughs> and that's actually way more fun than having everything figured out because your mind's not carrying the load, but your mind is staying on Him and you're in perfect peace. Because that's what scripture says. If you put your mind on God, you will be in perfect peace. It's a guarantee. It's one of those absolutes. And uh, scripture does get very absolute about stuff. It says in James, like, if you believe, when you ask God for wisdom, you're going to receive it. And if you don't, you're going to be like a wave tossed back and forth and you won't receive anything. Um, so it's just... It's being in that place of vulnerability that realizing trust in God always works. And it says that whoever trusts in God will never be disappointed. And never means never. And <laughs> I know that that could feel really scary for deciding to step into that. But when you single your focus to Jesus, it says fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and the finisher of faith, for the joy set before him, endure the cross then faith starts to come because you're realizing his love for you. And out of that place where you start to realize the love of God, the fear leaves. And you don't even, quote, have to command the fear to go or cast it out or whatever. A lot of these problems just get taken care of by focusing on Jesus. And I'm going to be so bold to say it's every single problem can be focused can be fixed by focusing on Jesus. No matter how big it seems, the power of God is greater. The grace of God is bigger. And there's this place of familiarity 
Now, just because something is familiar doesn't necessarily mean it's from the Spirit of God or that it's right or it's who you are. Because just because you're familiar with doing it, things a certain way doesn't mean that's who you are. But that who you are comes out of the confidence of Christ in you who is able to do all things. And it's not arrogant to say that you can do all things because you base that on, on his ability in you. It says, um, without him, you can do nothing. But the flip side of the coin is that through him, you can do all things. And all means all once again. And, and when you get to that place, that is not a place of pride at all. That's actually humility. Because just as Jesus completely relied on the Father, you rely on him. He calls us to do nothing other than union with him. And the theme of union has been coming up over and over again. I've actually did a video on it maybe a week or two ago. And I'm it's one of those topics that you could just kind of camp on for the rest of your life. <laughs> Christ in you, the hope of glory. Um, and realize that you, when he died, you died. That that thing is already dead that you've been treating as alive. It's already dead in Christ, and that's the way the Father sees it, and the Father sees truth. And when you agree with the Father, you agree with heaven, and it works. But, I don't know, I'm just going to end the video for tonight.